G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand came from a Monday night competition that I was playing and the opponents bid aggressively to a game, but all that means is you have to be on top form in your, in your defense. So let's jump in, see what we can do. So here, the auction went one diamond from my partner and it went one no trump over call. I passed and my left hand opponent transferred to hearts. Went two hearts. They now bid three clubs, natural and forcing, and it went three no trumps, which went all pass. So here, uh, like, uh, I don't want to lead a heart and I don't want to lead a club. Do I lead my partner's suit? But is like a good question, but here I know Easter's overcalled one no trump, so they're sitting over them. That doesn't mean you shouldn't always lead it. If you're not sure, that should be your go-to action. But here I also know East doesn't like hearts and probably has quite a good diamond stopper. So I decided to lead my uh, secret weapon of spades. Not much of a weapon, but uh, I chose to just lead my fourth best spades, trying to encourage spades. Could have considered the six of spades as well. So anyway, it went spade to the queen and to Clara won the ace. So at this stage, what do I know about the different hands? So Easter's doesn't have uh, three hearts. They've only got two hearts. Also, I know that dummy kind of looks entryless. My partner probably has a diamond on it. And the queen of clubs will probably stop them getting to the clubs. I've got the ace of hearts as an entry. But other than that, they don't have a way of getting back to the hand. In spades, my partner's got the queen of spades. Uh, points wise, I'm... Like, I have to work out, my partner's got 12 points, but I, where are those points? So Dummy has 7 points, I have 4, which is 11, 29 missing, so East has 15 to 18, which gives uh, my partner 11 to 14. So my partner's probably a balanced hand um, with sort of 12 to 14 points. Anyway, at uh, trick 2, uh, Declara played a heart. And this is where you really have to be on the ball. If you haven't seen this suit combination, this is one worth remembering. If you think that the dummy is going to be entryless outside of the suit that they're attacking, what you can do is really cut their communication. So it looks like East has a doubleton heart. Also, if they had king doubleton heart, they would probably play the king first and then heart to the jack. So it looks like my partner has three hearts to the king. What can we do with that information? If I play low, what will happen is it'll go 10 or jack, and if my partner wins the king, East can repeat the finesse a second time and get four heart tricks. However, if I hop up with the queen, let's just open up all the cards, because the heart suit's pretty well known at this stage. So here, East has a doubleton heart, my partner's got three. If I hop up, hop up with the queen, West has I've got two options. Either they can duck it and hope that I've got king, queen, third, in which case they can uh, finesse again, in which case they'll get zero heart tricks, or they can take the ace now, which means they'll get one heart trick and have to utilize uh, that entry as best they can now. And effectively, dummy will be dead after that. So by hopping up with queen, if they duck it, they may get zero tricks. They can duck it and play a heart to the ace the next time, but uh, if they duck it and finesse again, they get no heart tricks, or else they get just one. If instead I play low and they put in the 10, if my partner wins the king, now they can set up four heart tricks to go along with their two diamonds, their club, their spade they've already got, and they'll probably get one more trick as well. So if I play low, there's a good chance that they'll actually make this. If I do happen to play low and miss this golden opportunity to hop up with the queen to cut communication, my partner can be on the ball and duck this heart as well. Now, this lets East-West have two heart tricks, but they don't get the three tricks that you're really expecting. Uh, the, the four tricks that they're expecting. So if they play a heart to the ten, if my partner, if I've made the mistake and not put up the queen, my partner can duck it and keep them to two heart tricks rather than four. But if my partner also mistakes and puts up the king of hearts, now they, they've got four heart tricks they're entitled to get to. But the best we can do, cut communication by me hopping up with the ace. Uh, with the queen, just allowing them to get the ace. Cut that communication for the heart suit. 
So this is a really cool suit combination. It doesn't come up too often, but when you see dummies pretty much entryless outside of this suit, and they've got ace jack 10 to 5, you can hop up with the queen um, or the king. Uh, basically, if you expect that uh, declare has got too little or even three little, you can cause some, them some real grief. Um, if I had queen double 10, I could still hop up with the uh, queen there and make them guess what's going on with the suit. So here, if I hop up with the queen, it cuts communication. If I play low, my partner can cut communication, but it gives them a trick as well. Definitely right for me to hop up with the queen. Kill that entry, the, kill the suit by cutting the communication, making them take the ace earlier than they want, or letting me score the queen. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this hand of the week, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.